Hey guys, this is CG Animator. So this is part four of the advanced array animation tutorial. So last part we got up to frame 700. So we're just going to go up to frame 850. And then we'll be done with the animation. Okay, so now we're here. So let's go up. We're just going to do uh, a couple more frames. Let's go up to frame 750. And let's just go ahead and select the cubes here. Let's go ahead and make this uh, kind of scattered. You know, press grab if we want to like manipulate a little better. Okay. There we go. Like about scale. 800 and frame 850 is going to be easy. So let's just go ahead and make one last final scattered pose here. Scale it up. Okay. Now everything's all weird like that. So now it'll come all together when we press Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. I lock rot scale. So if you see that it goes like this and then it just all comes together. Like that. So we are done with the animation. Well at least with the array animation we still have to animate the camera. It's hard to focus on this thing. Okay, so oops, don't delete it. Alt A. Let's go ahead and watch it. Actually, uh, let me turn off, let me press hide these so we can see what, what it'll look like. So good so far. And later on, points like that, we can slow them down a little bit or speed them up. We can make those trans the transitions a little bit better. Also, well, that seems to be fairly clean there. Now it's going to be a little bit tricky to follow the camera with all of this. Okay, now it spins, spins together. Actually, let's go to that this last part here. Let's press Alt H here. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can move this. No, we cannot. So let's press Control Z until the point that we. Okay, because I don't want to press. Okay, so let's go up to actually. Let's just go up to frame 900 so that that uh that uh, tumbling animation at the end when it all comes together isn't so erratic because that was really it didn't look nice now let's look there we go okay so there we have it so now that we have that uh, first things first Let's go ahead and add our camera back. So let's go to layer 2. Select this. M1 to move it to layer 1. Uh, let's select the camera. It's selected. Let's press Alt R, Alt G, Alt S. Side view. Bring it out here. Let's go ahead and rotate it like that. Let's press 0 on the numpad to get a camera view. Oops, sorry. Just press RX to bring it up here. Check the time here. Okay, we're doing good. And uh, let's go into the render tab here. And let's go ahead and get 720p uh, here so we can have a nice amount of resolution. Let's go back here. Let's go to camera. Now, do we want it to be perspective or orthographic? You want it to be perspective. 
And uh, we can go ahead and add depth of field later if we want to. It'll make it look cool. So let's start this. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to select this here. And then we can see exactly where the, the f each frame by frame is in each pose. We're going to move the camera to that pose. So let's go and select the camera here. Now. What we want to do is go ahead and uh, move this out like this. Just press G, move it out, maybe scale out a bit. Let's press RZ, move it over. Zoom it out so we can get the whole picture here. Okay, so now select this. Frame 60 is the next one. So now we can just go press GY to move it on the Y axis Oops, just do that again now that we're over here press RZ move it over press RXX so that we can rotate it on the local X axis here and we can zoom out RZ some more here and RZ means to rotate it on the Z axis Okay, so there we go. I lock out scale. Now, let's go ahead and check how that looks here. Perfect. Looking good. <laughs> and it's it's really fun to see stuff like this coming together. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, frame 60. Next one, frame 80. Oops, not 80, 75. So we can just zoom in a little bit to give it that extra effect. Okay. And we actually don't have to insert keyframes here because we have the auto keying and we're not we only we're only moving one object and we're and so that solves everything. So okay. Now that we have that. Frame one hundred. Go ahead and move this over here, and what we're basically doing is just reposing it each time to get the best view that we can, and then after it's Blender does the rest. Press R X X so that we can rotate on the local X axis. And, uh, let's press R X X one more time, so we're kind of looking down at it. That, that looks cool. Press R Z so we can see a side view of it, kind of. Right there, cool. Okay, so let's, uh, oops, <laughs> make sure you select the camera. And also, if you don't know how to move the camera, you just select the camera here, G to move, R to rotate, S to scale, but I wouldn't scale if I were you. And in order to do the zoom thing here, you just press uh, G, and then you uh, just click the middle mouse button, and then it moves in like that. And then you left click or right click to either uh, finalize the movement or to cancel it. So select this, we'll do one more keyframe and then we'll save the rest for the next part. Then we'll go ahead and move this up. Let's, oops, sorry, press zero to get back into the camera. Press G, grab it, back it up, and then bring it up here. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, see, it cuts off, so we need to go ahead and just On frame by frame here now. See that we have a clipping, some clipping going on, so we can uh, turn that to 200 here. Okay. So let's see how that looks real quick. Okay, it looks fine. It looks a little erratic right now, but uh, we can stop that with some curves later. So, okay, so that's it for this part. The next part, we'll go ahead and try to finish up the camera animation. All right, guys, thanks.